Hey, so I know it's kind of offensive that I haven't said anything on this race yet, but um, I just wanted to rectify that by coming on camera right now because um, I'm now realizing that I should have streamed that. Should have live, should have done a live reaction stream for it because I work this Saturday. So obviously I can't do that, but I did not work last this past Saturday. So I absolutely could have done live reactions, but I did not. What if told me I should have, and then I was like, yeah, yeah, I should have. Anyway, so this race at Slinger in the SRX series may have been one of the best races I've ever watched in my life. Now, I know you may, you may think sitting back there, watching this video at home, that that is an exaggeration. You may think that I'm only saying that because of every garbage race that we've had to sit through for the past three years is what I have to compare it to. To that I say yet, yet, And the reason that I say yet is because the entire time that I was watching that race from Slinger, and keep in mind, I only watched the feature. I didn't actually watch the heats. Apparently, there was a photo finish in one of the heats. I didn't actually watch that. I was at Walmart getting some Mango Pepsi Zero. That's what I was doing with my life. Um, but <laughs> the whole feature, I, I, I got back at lap eight. I, and I started watching there, and I was like, okay, it's getting good. <laughs> and then... Suddenly, it was lap 150, and I'm like, hang on, <laughs> hang on a second. Um, it wasn't perfect. It was great. It wasn't perfect. The fun caution still sucks. Stop throwing cautions for nothing. I We've been over this. Stop doing it. There's no reason. Stop. Hopefully that changes next year. Um, and then the final restart. Uh, I was kind of surprised that that they threw that 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 when they threw the caution. Is is there a requirement for the SRX races to finish under green and with a green white checkered? Because I'm almost certain that Fenhouse took the white. Oh yeah, You're, we're going to be talking about this guy named Luke Fenhouse over the course of this video, and basically he had like 800 followers on Twitter before the. Uh, before this SRX race happened, and long story short, we're probably going to see him in the truck series soon. Um, yeah, it's like, <laughs> that's that's the only criticism that I, okay, that's, that's a lie. The caution, yeah, no, that's the only criticism, is the caution. Everything else about this series, nearly perfect. 12 cars is a little thin. I'd like to see him add another 6 to 10. <laughs> But, um, yeah, they drive perfect. These cars drive perfect. I was sitting there watching them go battle side by side for the lead for upwards of 75 laps. And I'm like, these cars look like so much fun to drive. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God, dude. It's like, I'm sitting here. Watching the lap, the lead change graphic keep popping up every once in a while. Every single time that it pops up, like it's added another 20 lead changes. And I'm sitting there like, SRX created exactly what NASCAR desperately wants the Cup Series to be. And SRX did everything in their power to not be the Cup Series. They couldn't have made a car more opposite to the current Cup car. The race format is similar to the Cup Series because of the stupid fun cautions that are not fun in the slightest. They're anti-fun cautions. Did you see when they were... when? Stewart and Fenhouse had been side by side the entire run for 40 laps and then Marco and Bobby Labonte... Both were faster than both Stewart and Fenhouse, and Marco tried to go through the middle, and like it, it, 
It would it was it was a four way it was going to be a four way battle for the lead, and then they threw the caution for absolutely nothing and ruin it. I hate the fun caution. That's let's 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 call it what it is. Let's call it what it is. It's an anti fun caution because that was one of the best battles I've seen in years. And they ruined it because after that the heat came out of the tires and then it was just Stewart and Fenhouse side by side again, which was fine. Which was fine. It's the whole that's the whole reason the race was great is because they were inseparable out front at the only the thing that I kept coming back to was the 2003 Indianapolis Raceway Park Bush Series race because God knows I've watched that enough times and that's still lauded as one of the greatest races of all time because it was one of the greatest races of all time because it was one of the greatest races of all time and that's all I was thinking of that entire time. I'm like, wow, this is great. <laughs> but that's... That's incredible, dude. Absolutely incredible. NASCAR is going to ruin Atlanta Motor Speedway to try and create what SRX did at an old track that they put no stupid-ass PJ1 bullshit on that they didn't, you know, put up restrictor plate or whatever the fuck equal but differently named equal but different piece of plastic to slow the cars down no they just built a car put it on multiple tracks five SRX races each of them better than the last each of them memorable each of them with better racing than the cup series has seen in three years And the ratings keep going up. I'm so happy the ratings keep going up. All of you people watching SRX, you are the real MVPs. Keep those ratings going up because they deserve it. Next year, plus 10%, plus 15% from, from this year. Keep watching this because it's great. <laughs> if I watch NASCAR in 2021, I'm watching it on an illegal stream. I am not supporting that shit if I can. If I can fucking help it, I am not. Because, yeah, the Knoxville truck race. I watched it because I really wanted to see the Knoxville truck race. Holy fucking shit. I have never wanted an entire sports sanctioning body to collapse in on itself more. Then after watching that, abhorrent, absolutely fucking abhorrent. I don't know how anyone can watch the final 60 extra fucking laps of that pile of rat shit race and come out of there thinking, yeah, yeah, I watched a legitimate or sports organization put on a legitimate show. Fuck off with that fucking horse shit. SRX is fantastic. They went to Knoxville and had, an, uh, and had an amazing finish. Deegan almost beat fucking Tony fucking Stewart. That was pretty good. <laughs> Michael Waltrip. Was, was Knoxville the one where he was fast or was that a different track? W which other track did they go to? It, was it Eldora? It was not Eldora, was it? It couldn't have been Eldora. I don't know. The point I'm trying to make. Great. 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 SRX. Amazing. NASCAR. Fucking awful. I didn't even watch the fucking cup race. Kurt Busch won. I'm happy. Kurt's, my man. Kurt's one of my main mans. But fuck it, I don't care. I'm not watching that fucking garbage, dude. I want to watch racing. SRX is racing. The fun, the anti-fun caution is garbage. But the racing is phenomenal. I haven't even talked about the ending. Because the ending's kind of stupid due to the cautions. That sips for you, what incarnation. Um, the, the, so it's between Stewart and Fenhouse over the entire event. However, on the second to last restart, Marco Andretti destroys Tony Stewart. And then with two to go coming to the white... 
the Haley Deegan dumps Paul Tracy, which is a longer story because over the course of the entire race, because we all know Paul Tracy, the uh, certified clown of the SRX. They can, they had him come out in handcuffs in the back of a police car. They should have had him come out of a little Volkswagen Beetle with with Joker makeup on because that's m- more so what it is. He he's really not the bad guy of the series. He's more so the clown of the series. He is the Pastor Maldonado <laughs> of SRX. <laughs> and yeah, so he was being himself over the course of that race. Running into Ernie Francis, who won at IRP. That's, uh, I think that was IRP, wasn't it? It probably, I I, I don't think I actually, I, I, I had to miss that race because we were at, uh, I, I had to do races, my own races. And it was great. <laughs> Ernie Francis, very good. But, um, yeah, he and Paul Tracy were doing shit. And then he and Haley Deegan was collateral damage in one of those incidents. So Deegan got pissed off and just ruined Ernie Francis's day, like pretty much destroyed the back end of his car, but without wrecking him. It was, it was true Haley Deegan fashion. Like I've missed this Haley Deegan, the one that makes races interesting. The one who will just bulldoze a man. (laughs) But yeah, um, at the end of the race, she dumped Paul Tracy, which I really don't even put that blame on Deegan. Because Tracy just cut her off, and Deegan wasn't going to give up at that point, so she just pushed up the track <laughs> and ruined his day. And that was probably the biggest crash in SRX yet. We had some torn up race cars, man. We had that was a that was a field ruiner right there. Um, but yeah, that set up the final restart, which I still don't understand how, because I'm almost certain they took the white. So I'm not entirely sure what the flag rules are. For SRX, if it has to finish under green with a green-white checkered. Or if they actually somehow threw the caution before taking the white flag. I don't know, dude. But on the restart, Marco Andretti ruined Luke Fenhouse's entire day and took the win. Which is kind of annoying, you know. I was glad to see it because, you know, Marco has had a painful career to say the least. But, like... It, it, it very it, it felt like it cheapened the experience just a little bit because it was Fenhouse and Stewart duking it out all day and and it was clear that if anything Marco was at least the the third the third fastest and I do feel like he probably could have gone up there if it had gone green the whole race without the anti fun caution but still it kind of felt cheapened especially considering I'm almost certain they took the white. So, I still don't know what the flag rules are, but, like, it was still a phenomenal race. You know, it was still great. It was still, like, give. Give more. More SRX. I don't want more SRX, because I feel like if if the season drags on for more than six to ten races, it'll water down the series. I think some of the, I think what makes SRX great is the fact that they only have so many races. You have 12 drivers and, and, you know, they're not all full time. You have different, you have one off drivers at every track, you know, these guys that get one opportunity all year to win. And then you have the full time guys who only have six races to get a win to prove that they belong on the track. It ma- it makes everyone want the win more, and like I don't think they're technically racing for points. They I know there is a championship, but I don't. They don't bring it up ever, which is so refreshing. So refreshing to be able to watch a race and be like, this is all that matters. There is no grand, over encompassing, mythical idea of a champion to distract you from the racing that's taking place. It's great. It's it's amazing, dude. I did I I I went into I the idea of SRX. I was like, yes, this is great. Please, I hope this is good. And I went into watching the first SRX race, wanting it to be good. From the beginning of SRX, I've wanted it to be good. From the minute it started existing, dude, I've wanted to come on camera and say that this is the greatest racing. 
series in America right now. And I don't want to just say that because I want it to be true. But I think after this Slinger race, we can legitimately say that SRX is one of, if not the, best racing series in America today. Five races in. Five races in, it's already a better racing product than any, anything, I, anything I've watched in the last five years. Anything I've watched since making weekly racing reviews. It's amazing. And I'm not just saying that because I want it to be. It legitimately is amazing. It, it is a wonder. A wonder. What you can do. When you actually fucking try and make a series for racers, by racers, and not for 12-year-olds, by car manufacturer executives. What a stunning contrast. What a stunning, stunning contrast. Anyway, SRX is amazing. Keep watching it, everyone. You're doing, you're doing the world a service. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you whatever video I make next. Sayonara, senioritas.